Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.2. We have some great features to talk about and we also talking about side loading on iOS 17 and also great news regarding iOS 18. We finally have an official word on iOS 18 and it's looking amazing even though we're like seven months away from the first beta of iOS 18 but it looks like it will be a really interesting update. But first of all let's talk about iOS 17.2. We have some more new features now. Let's go to the settings app and here under books if you scroll down you will have a new option to automatically invert Images. Now what this will do is that when you use the dark mode it will automatically invert the images that are on a book to basically look better with the dark mode on your iOS device. Also on the books app if you're using the fast fade option so right here go to themes and settings and you will have this option here for fast fade you will notice that you can actually swipe like this but also swipe up as easy as this so between like different pages you can swipe up like this or swipe like this and it's super fast. Now with iOS 17.2 Apple has enabled the new collaboration feature for the playlists on the music app. Now if you use Apple Music you will be able to now collaborate on different playlists and when you go to the playlist and it has the list of the songs you will see there they are the name of the person that has added that song to that playlist and even on the player just like you see right here it does show the name of the person that has actually added that song to the playlist you're listening to. Now I've shown you previously on a previous video that Siri can now tell you like stuff regarding your health data like you can ask Siri for your steps maybe and it will be able to tell you but it will also be able to write health data so let's try it out log my current weight and just like that you can see I can just tell Siri the weight and it will actually log it to the health app. New options can be found also under the accessibility settings so if you go to accessibility and you go to switch control you will see right here a new option it says switch control mode and you will have here three different modes so you will have the item mode which was the previous one now basically this is a new section on the settings app you would be able to do that previously but you have to first activate the switch control mode and then you would be able to do this and now you will have the gliding cursor as you can see it right here let's just enable it you will have the gliding cursor right here and you also have head tracking so let's just enable and disable this so you will have basically head tracking and it gives you like a pointer which will track the movement of your head. When you go to Safari on iOS 17 and you're trying to clear the history of your device, you will get this page right here and you will have a few different options. Now what Apple has changed with iOS 17.2 is nothing visual here, but if I just choose here to clear the today and then choose one of my profiles or whatever I, whatever options I choose here and I do that, clean the history, when I come back, it will actually say those options so if I want to do that the next day I don't have to change the options again it will stay the same so basically it remembers the options that you have chosen when clearing the history on your iOS 17.2 device. Another change here if you use CarPlay with iOS 17.2 you now get that blur right there that basically looks just like just like on iOS so it gives you the blur of from the album art to the background of your CarPlay. Now this used to be a feature before but had been removed with iOS 17. Now you get that back and also it gives you like a fade when switching between different songs. As you might know with iOS 17.2 we finally get the option here under the keyboard settings to disable inline predictive text or so show predictions in line you can disable that and a lot of people aren't seeing this enabled on their device so if you have updated to iOS 17.2 and you're on the latest beta and you don't see this option what you need to do is in a disable actually dictation and then re-enable it of course if you want to use it and that should fix that problem you should now see show predictions in line right here and of course the switch to turn it off. Now before we talk about side loading we have some more info about that and of course iOS 18 let's take a look at the performance 
and battery on iOS 17.2. While we're currently on beta 3, this is the performance of this beta and it's actually pretty good. It has improved from beta 2. Most likely it will also improve with the next betas and of course the final release of iOS 17.2 to the public. You can see the multi-core score here is great, 7411 and then the single core 2963 and you will notice here a slight improvement here on the single single core score from beta 2 and a bigger improvement here on the multi-core score which again makes iOS 17.2 a great update it performs as it should it's really really smooth and you won't notice even on betas you won't actually notice any huge problems with performance on iOS 17.2 of course always one of the most important things when it comes to updates is battery well with iOS 17.2 we get some pretty solid battery life so you can see right here the last 10 days all of these are of course on iOS 17.2 the last few here with the third beta you can see today here we have about maybe 35 percent battery three hours 11 minutes and then right here we got about maybe 85 percent battery eight hours 33 minutes on screen and then right here at 75 percent battery seven hours eight minutes it looks quite good not the greatest ever of course it might be improved with the next betas but it's quite solid nothing to complain about now before we move into the other stuff let's talk about the next beta so the next beta should come out most likely tomorrow so that will be november 21st or the 22nd that should be beta 4 one of the last betas we should see that and then another beta before we see the rc version and then of course the public release but expect apple to release a new beta most likely tomorrow and then of course the other week on the 27th or 28th we should get the final beta before we get the rc version here on the first week of december and then the second week of december most likely the 11th of december should be the date when apple releases ios 17.2 to the public now we have heard a lot of news regarding side loading on ios 17.2 well basically if you just don't know what that is it's basically an option a feature that will let you install apps out of the app store on your iPhone, just like you can do with Mac OS. Well, on iOS 17.2, there was some code that we thought that that's it, that's the code for side loading, but it looks like that's not the case. But still, side loading is coming to iOS 17, but only for EU users. So only if you're living in EU, Apple has to basically go with the EU laws and they have to allow it. And according to Mark Grumman, side loading is coming next year to EU users. That will be the first half of 2024. Most likely with iOS 17.3, we should see side loading coming to users in EU. Other places will still have to use only the App Store to download apps on their device. And finally, let's talk about iOS 18. Well, we have some great news regarding iOS 18. According to Mark Grumman, iOS 18 has been referred to be an ambitious and compelling in update internally by Apple. So basically, iOS 18 will have like huge improvements on performance security as well as major new features and designs. Now, this has been reported from Mark Grumman, our very trusted source, but according to him, this has been reported internally by Apple. So some Apple official has reported this and it's great news. We're finally getting like huge like redesigns and all that stuff that we have been waiting for for a really long time. We actually haven't seen anything big to iOS coming since iOS 7. Of course, all the cool new features and all that are cool the home screen widgets, the lock screen widgets, but no major redesign since iOS 7. And now it's finally time to see that. And we will see that with iOS 18. It looks like it's going to be a groundbreaking update. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. iOS 17.2 is looking to be a great update. And of course, great news regarding iOS 18 and side loading. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.